Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Carvel Space Endeavor and here you see live footage of the accident that happened on Minmus. So due to the fact that this horrible accident happened on Minmus the Kerbal government sadly has to announce that the space program will be shut down until further investigation, all funding will be cut and all remaining Kerbals or Kerbinauts will be returned back to Kerbin. So yeah, welcome back guys, I did what you guys suggested, we are going to start the series anew with a few changes here and there we're gonna add some new mods I'm gonna update all of the mods that are right there um, to explain what happened here is somehow my fail f save file was corrupted and even previous files I took two days earlier seemed to have an issue and wouldn't let me work anymore and I tried editing save files, why there was a duplication of anything or any what, and I would get really frustrated. I did already explain all of this in my choices episode, and you guys suggested I should start anew with more and new mods, and that is what I'm going to do. And this episode dedicates a new start. I just wanted to put it into a nice perspective of how this actually could work story-wise. So yeah, pretty much our Corval space program was cut all of funding and let's just say we have 10 years later now and the Corval space program has additionally become newly funded by the government and therefore we can start anew. With that in mind we jump right ahead in here and try to restart our series. So yeah it's uh, pretty screwed up and you guys asked or a reboot and that is what I'm going to do. However, what I am going to change is due to the fact that I have some new mods installed, I'm only going to show you guys the highlights of what I did or what I'm going to do up until the point that we pretty much reach that we have already been to. So I'm going to play a lot and I'm going to try to cut it down as much as I can so you guys can enjoy it. Okay, and here we are, and you can already see a lot of stuff is going on. First of all, we have tech life support. Once again, we're going to deactivate the respawn. Then we have Kerbal construction time and extra planetary launch pads, which we're going to use to allow progressive build. So whenever we build ships in space, it'll take time for them to complete. And most importantly, we have Kerbal construction time. What this does is it takes time to build new crafts and it takes time to clean up after launches and uh, the more I upgrade my base the faster I construct new vehicles. So I do start out with some new um, upgrades but first of all let's go into the settings menu. Yeah yeah no vessel found I know I know. Can we move this like over here where I can't click stuff if something happens? Okay, game settings. We This is enabled for the save. Build times are enabled. Uh, tech tree takes time to unlock and so forth and so forth. And the timer is set correctly and everything is fine. Okay, so let's go into upgrades. And as you can see, we have 15 available uh, points. So right now if we build something in the VAB it will work with 0.1 build points per second. Now build points are needed to construct vehicles. The bigger the vehicle is the longer it will take to construct. Also uh, building new parts takes longer. Building parts that you've already built a couple of times it goes faster. So right at the beginning we're gonna speed our construction up because we're gonna build uh, rockets long before we're gonna build space planes so let's get this up to 7.5 and research and development we're gonna increase our research there we go 
what this also does is if we put our research into this uh, it would mean that every time we use uh, that amount of build points we get one science which is rather cool because we build vehicles and therefore we get science which is pretty decent so let's jump right in and take all of the basic contracts that we have right here there we go and now let's jump in and build our first craft all of the new mods that I'm using uh, I put down in the description below so you guys can take a look at it if you're interested to you want to get them yourselves or you just like to know what I'm using so we're not gonna go into space right away we're just gonna try to fulfill our first contract so let's get this parachute up here I'll also toggle the info because I want to change things, but I can't because it's stock. Never mind. Um, yeah, that is our basic rocket. We're going to call it the Urban 1. And then we're going to hit the launch button. And what happens now when I press the launch button? You see this small window popping up here. And it gives me the option to either simulate the flight or I'm going to build the vessel. Now, simulating the flight pretty much puts the vehicle at the position into orbit or on the launch pad or every, anywhere I want to and lets me test it for a certain amount of time. It does cost me a little bit of money, but it doesn't cost me too much. So that gives me a cool option to test things before I use them. Rather convenient and really cool and therefore no returning VAB or anything or any of that good stuff is now necessary or possible. But we're going to build this vessel now. So it is added to the uh, VAB build list. Now we have to exit here and let's see. Okay, now you see it is under construction and it's going to take five days. Well, all together it's going to take um, six days pretty much construct so we're gonna just warp until our craft is complete there we go and then we get a message over here saying uh, the carbon one is being completed and can be launched from the VAB storage so now if we're gonna go in here uh, VAB storage we have a carbon one now we could scrap this, rename it, duplicate it, or any of that kind of good stuff, but right now we're just going to go for a launch. And I think, of course, Jebediah should get the honors of launching. So let's jump in right here. After a little while of loading. This is still not 64-bit. 64 bit still doesn't want to work, and this is being weird at the moment. Doesn't matter. And we're also going to configure some visible buttons right here that I do not require at the moment. So let's close this up. We could already take a crew report and EVA, but we're not going to do that. Um, we need to change up this here, though. And now. I think it's good as it can get for a launch. So Jebediah, here we go. That is another new mod, it's the achievement mod. Which gives you pretty much just a sum up of things. Um, let's actually do the crew report while flying over Corbin Shores. 3.5 signs, yep. We're not gonna do an EVA report because yeah, it's probably not such a good idea to do this. So we have already completed a contract of reaching 5,000 meters and we have a confirmed launch which we've also completed. So we reached 10,000 meters, yay, yet another achievement. And how high are we going to get? Supposedly we're supposed to get up to almost 30 kilometers. We're still dropping because we're losing velocity but let's get up as high as we can. Let's actually fix this. How high are we going to get? 29. Right, let's just see if we can get a little bit higher. I did uh, get rid of 
chatterer mod this time because most of the time all of this is done in post editing anyway and otherwise I'd just have these annoying sounds in the background that kind of squeal and do this weird stuff. So yeah, chatterer mod is gone. So let's try doing an EVA really quick. Hold on, EVA report, keep the data, we're gonna take data, now we're gonna store the experiments, get back inside, and now we can do another crew report in here. From the upper atmosphere, you record the crew's assessment of the situation, and we're gonna keep the data. All right, and we're already falling back towards Kerbin. So yeah, let's get ready for our re-entry. So yeah, a lot of new cool mods installed, like uh, this cool mod here that we don't see yet, which will be an overlay. Um, we have the B9 aerospace pack installed now. I did get rid of near future propulsions and we have extra planetary launch pads and a lot of other cool stuff coming up. Um, and I guess the parachute opens quite early here, as it seems, but we're still increasing velocity. Okay, we still have scan set, we have criminal alarm clock, we have a lot of other stuff, and we're not gonna do an EVA report right here because otherwise eh, things might go wrong. We have tech life support, and we have a lot of other good stuff. The big red button over here is mission control extended, which if I press it would allow me to return to the VAB or SPH for a thousand funds. Pretty much saying that yeah this was a simulation and everything but yeah we have the other mod for that so I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna use that button. Because I think it'll mess around with uh, Kerbal construction time. So Let's get this baby down. I don't want to time, time accelerate yet because we still have so much stuff to talk about. Um, uh, what was I talking about? <laughs> now I'm just messing with you guys. Yeah, a lot of it has changed. There was a big issue with uh, my old save. And um, yeah, this is the way we're going to go. And as I said, I'm just going to highlight the things that are necessary. We're coming in way too fast. Oh no, never mind. It's all fine. It's all good. And we have some glitch in the water. Never mind. Do are we gonna come down? And somehow we came in fast enough, so we broke off stuff. Well then, that is not good. So let's collect more science. Take a surface sample. You've taken a sample of the water. It appears to dramatically increase the surface humidity of anything it touches. EVA report. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary to get here, was it? Nope. Now we're gonna take all the data, take all the data, and store all the experiments. When we get inside now, we should be able to do another crew report. You record the crew's assessment of the situation, and holy crap, there's just achievements popping up all the time, and the sound is actually rather annoying. I might get rid of it, because it's not really that helpful anyway. I think we made it. Land on the surface of the celestial body with the crew members still alive. Wow, really? I get, like, achievements for everything. But there's a fun one. Get within a distance of a thousand kilometers of the sun, and it's called sunburn. Okay, then. Well, I might leave it in. Just for fun. Okay, now we're gonna recover the vessel. And with a bit of loading time again. We get Jebediah. This is the final frontier mod that gives our good Kerbal some ribbons. Very interesting stuff. Dangerous EVA splashdown and surface EVA ribbon. We do get 39 signs altogether, and we of course recover all of our parts. And of course, Jebediah is back in the game. Okay, let's jump into the R&D. And now if we select this first node and research it, you'll guys notice that it'll take two days and three hours for this technology node to unlock. 
Now we could unlock more stuff already because we still have more, but it's just going to go into the queue before we can do anything further. So this stuff here gives me... What does this give me? This gives me battery power and landing gear. And landing gear is actually... Maybe... I don't know. Do we get like more pair? Yeah, more parachutes is always good. So let's get this here and with a stack separator, I will be able to build better stuff. There we go. And this node will unlock in nine days. So if I go out and back in again, you guys will see <gasps> it's not working anymore. And if I press research, it's going to say not enough science points. But otherwise, if I had enough science points, it would say it is already being researched. So if we click on tech here, you guys see that basic rocketry will take two days, survivability seven days, and stability eight days. And I can warp to these uh, times if I want to. So yeah, this is going to add some interesting stuff to the series. And um, yeah, we'll see how this is going. However, I think I don't need to show you guys all of the stuff that I need to do to get some money and get our basic things done. So I'm just going to give you guys the highlights that are going to happen until we reach the point that we have already been to in the previous Kerbal Space Endeavor series. So stay tuned, a lot of new uh, cool stuff is coming up. Keep in mind that I have to play a lot now to get back to the place that I was at, so videos will come not in as fast as they used to, especially since I'm also back at university right now, and therefore my time is limited. However, thank you guys for your patience, thank you for guys for your support, and my name is Antilles, stay tuned, until next time.